Hello again, welcome back to Villa Molino Cookery Club. Yes, what are we doing today? We're doing a very popular dish. We sell this in my restaurant, which is the Mario Kensington in SW7, just around the corner from Harrods. So we're going to do Melanzane Parmigiana. This is for you, my good friend from Wales, Richard. Richard, I saw you yesterday at the restaurant. I promised you I'd do this recipe. And here it is, Melanzane Parmigiana. First of all, we're going to do this in several stages. So I'm going to cut out, come back, cut out, come back. So first of all, we need to make the tomato sauce. So we want some olive oil, and we've got the aubergines here. I'll give you all the measurements later. So we've got olive oil, then we want some garlic. So I'm going to use three tins of cherry tomatoes. You can get it in Waitrose. So for each tin, you need one clove of garlic. So three cloves of garlic, three tins of cherry tomatoes, olive oil, a little bit of oregano, and then some fresh basil in the end. So here we go. We've got the olive oil, we've got the garlic. We're gonna saute that real quick. When you do it on the microplane, it cooks really quick and the garlic kind of disintegrates and um, you don't have any big pieces of garlic. So what do we got? Do you see how quick that was? Oh. Here we go, garlic, olive oil, cherry tomatoes. That's gonna go in. A bit of hot water. You want to clean the clean the, the tins. Don't leave any, any tomato sauce in the tin. Right, so that's the tomato tin. Right, a bit of salt, a bit of oregano. So did you catch that? Uh, minced garlic, olive oil, cherry tomatoes, salt, oregano oregano. Right, now we want to put that, we want to cover that. Where's my lid? And just forget about it, forget about it for 20 minutes. So we've got the aubergines. The aubergines, you need to salt them because sometimes they can be a bit bitter. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you one and then I'm gonna do the others. Right, so you need to peel the aubergine. This is melanzane parmigiana, baked aubergine recipe. Um, very popular throughout Italy. They do them in two, there's two recipes. Uh, one which is from the north, one which is from the south. In the north of Italy, they uh, fry the uh, aubergine slices in um, plain flour. In the south of Italy, they fry the aubergine slices in egg batter. So we're going to do the south of Italy because I'm from Naples and the Naples is the best. So we've got a degorge then, it's called degorge. So we've got the sliced aubergine here, right? We're going to open it up and we're going to put salt in between each layer like that. Put salt in between each layer, like that. Salt them, right? Then rub it together like that, right? Get the salt and then just put it in a large colander like that. So we're gonna do all of those and those will start to perspire. Yes, they start to sweat and perspire. We know all about that. So we're gonna, we're gonna do the rest of the aubergines. We've got the tomato sauce cooking and we're gonna we're gonna salt them and then we're gonna the next stage is gonna be frying of the aubergines in the in the egg mix. Back in a minute. So we're back now, stage three. What have we done? We've degorgeed the aubergines, which means we've salted them, we put them in a, in a colander, and you see how much liquid we get out of that. That's all the uh, moisture from the aubergine, and they're nice and soft now. So now we've got to fry them. We've got the tomato sauce cooking, the one I prepared before, which is here. Look at this lovely, slowly uh, bubbling away, the cherry tomato sauce, slowly, slowly. Pay attention, Richard, I know you're watching. Okay, so now we need to fry the aubergines in an in a egg. In the, in the north of Italy, they, fry, they dip it in the flour and they fry it in the flour. But in the south of Italy, they, uh, they dip it in the egg, which is a lot better, let me tell you. Everything is better in Naples. So, what we do now is we take your aubergine, so we do flour, egg, and in the oil. Flour, egg, oil. And then the most important thing is you want to dry it on um, kitchen paper because you don't want that oil to end up in the, in the dish. So it's, this is a, a recipe that's done in stages. Flour, egg, oil, that's sizzling away. It doesn't need to be too hot because you don't want it to burn. That's as long as you get a gentle sizzle. Gentle sizzle. Sizzle, sizzle, yes, my motto. Sizzle, sizzle. 
Right, here we go. I'm going to do one pan. I'm going to do one pan, and then I'm going to cut away and do the rest. And then we're going to build. We're going to build the uh, melanzane parmigiana, which is the baked aubergines. We're going to build it, and then we're going to bake it. And that's all you need to do: build it and bake it. Build it and bake it. A bit like Boris. What did Boris say? Build it better. Build it better. Something like that. Build back better. So that's frying in the oil. You can see it sizzling away. I'm going to do one pan, and then I'm going to turn it over, and I'm going to cut out, and then I'm going to do all the rest of them. And you layer them, when, when they're fried, you layer them onto kitchen paper like this, and then when you cover the, the one layer, you put some more paper, and then another layer. So you want to fry them gently, not too hot. Not too hot. That's only going to be about 170 degrees. Because you don't want to get them uh, brown and you don't want to get them too dark. Okay, that's turning over. You see this one? Nice and golden. Nice and golden. Can you see? Turning over. Nice and golden. Give a little bit of colour. Right. That's turning over nicely. I'm going to fry the rest of them and I'm going to put them onto onto the kitchen paper, what you do is you layer them onto the kitchen paper like that, you put another layer of kitchen paper on the top, and then you do them all. So tomato sauce cooking away nicely, nice bubbling away, look at that. All right, I'm gonna cut away now, I'm gonna do the rest of the aubergines, and then we're gonna build the melanzane parmigiano with the mozzarella, parmesan cheese, fresh basil, fresh basil. we're gonna put it in the oven, we're gonna forget about it. Back in a minute. Okay, Mr. Richard from Wales, what have we got here? We have da Mario melanzane parmigiana, which is baked aubergine in tomato sauce with mozzarella, basil, parmesan, olive oil, and cherry tomatoes. Yes, we do. So what do we have got here? This is the Maison Plus. We've got a slow cooked cherry tomato sauce with a hint of garlic, a little bit of oregano, and a bit of salt. Slow cooked, that's been cooking nice and slowly. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? We have the fried aubergines that have been dipped in flour, egg, shallow fried and then layered on pieces of kitchen paper to remove as much oil as possible and we have these beautiful golden um, sliced aubergine, shallow fried sliced aubergine. We've got an empty dish, we've got parmigiana reggiano, we've got mozzarella, just normal mozzarella is good, don't get the one in the water because it's too wet, normal mozzarella, they sell this Galbani one in the block, 400 grams, very good, and we've got fresh basil. So, this is the construction stage. We're going to build the melanzane, shove it in the oven, forget about it. And you must remember when you take it out of the oven, it needs to sit for one hour before you eat it. Yes, one hour, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Here we go. So, construction stage. We just do this in layers. So, we start with tomato. You can crush the little cherry tomatoes if you like. Right, so tomato, aubergine, here we go. You can layer it any way you want. Left to right, right to left, front to back, whichever way you prefer. Right, so I'm gonna do layers. Make sure you cover the whole area. Squish it down, scrunch it down. If you need to cut it to get into the corner, take a piece, cut it like that, get into the corner, scrunch it down, right. So then, we've got a little bit of tomato on the top. Squish it, squish it, squish it down, a little bit of tomato. Right, you see? So we've got aubergine, uh, tomato on the leaf, aubergine, tomato on top. Now we're gonna put the mozzarella. Don't put too much, it's just a little taste. Most of it, the flavor is gonna come from the Parmesan cheese. So a little, little scrunches of mozzarella, and then generous portion of parmigiano. What's this called, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Melanzane parmigiana. Parmigiana means parmigiano, ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't know. Here we go. Parmesan cheese. Then we've got the fresh basil. Squish it on like that. And olive oil. Here we go. Bit of olive oil, lovely. Give it that Italian flavor. Right, then, what I like to do, if I did the first layer going across like this, I do the second layer going up, because when you cut into it, it holds the shape better. So first layer left to right, second layer front to back. 
Right, if you want to cut a bit, cut a bit. Get in the corner there. Right, cut a bit. Look at that. That is coming so nicely. The way that it comes together. Oh, amazing. Right, so you can choose the small slices, the large slices. Just make sure it comes together. Yes. Right, little corner bit there. Right, that's it. Squash it down, squash it down. Use your hands, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Right. So now we do aubergine, um, tomato. I'll give you the I'll give you the, the measurements, don't worry. I'll give you the measurements. Tomato, look at that. Look at that, look. That's all gonna come together in the oven, all the flavours are gonna come together. Right, here we go. Next one, what have we got? Mozzarella. Mozzarella, I'm gonna do this without cutting away. Mozzarella, yes. Parmigiano, yes. Parmigiano, yes. Be generous, be generous. Uh, some uh, basil. Oh, I'm running out of Parmesan. Where's my assistant? Can I have some more Parmesan, please? Oh, my assistant has gone to sleep. Oh, I have to get it myself. Oh, I'm running out. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Right, more Parmesan, more than I expected. Here we go. Right, so what do we got? Tomato, mozzarella, Parmesan, olive oil, basil. You don't need salt. There's salt in the, in the, in the Parmesan, there's salt in the sauce. Right, so now back again. We went this way, now we go this way. Look at that, perfect. Perfect, here we go. Don't fill it up right to the brim because you're gonna get expansion in the oven. It's gonna expand. When it gets hot, it expands. You know, it gets hot and it just gets, it expands. Get, so you don't want it because then all the sauce is going to come over the edge and it's just going to make a mess. So break it up, make, fill in all the holes. Right, so I think I've got enough there for one layer. So squish it down, squish it down. Tomato sauce, look at that. Nice cherry tomato sauce, slow cook, nice and sweet. Cherry tomatoes, I just got these from Waitrose, very good. Italian cherry tomatoes. Right, so mozzarella. Mozzarella, what next? What have we got next, Richard? Are you paying attention? What next, Richard? Parmesan cheese, yes, very well done, well done, Richard. Here we go, Parmesan cheese, melanzane parmigiana. What next, Richard? Basil, yes, fresh basil. And olive oil. It's coming together, right, top layer. I think there should be just enough aubergine here. Look at that, and it just sits underneath the ridge. Fantastic. How's that for calculation? Is that the word? I think so. Oh, just about, just about, just about. Look at that. Look at that, look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, the last slice of aubergine just fits in the dish. Isn't that amazing? I surprise myself sometimes, right? So let's get all this tomato sauce out. Get all this tomato sauce out from the pan, yes. Get all this sauce out. Right, we don't want mozzarella on the top, ladies and gentlemen. The mozzarella is inside only. On the top, we just want a bit of olive oil and lots and lots of Parmesan to get that golden crust. Now get your oven ready at 180 degrees because you're gonna sit this in the oven for about an hour. I know everything's cooked. The, 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 the parmesan, the, the, the tomato sauce are cooked, the aubergines are cooked, but you need to get all the flav flavors combined. So, put the basil, put the basil. Basil won't burn, because you're gonna cover it with the parmesan. Parmesan cheese. Don't worry about spilling it over the edge. That's what chefs have assistance for. They clean up the mess afterwards. Here we go. So Richard, you put this in the oven, get your missus to clean up, okay? Here we go. 
Right, look at that. So just take, take it off the edge. Take it off the edge. Look at that. A little, little sprinkle of olive oil to make it crispy golden on top. Look at that. Melanzani parmigiana, 180 degrees, one hour in the oven. Thank you very much. I'm going to cut away and I'm going to put this in the oven and I'm going to come back to you when it's ready. And when it comes out of the oven, you want to let it sit for one hour. Believe me, it won't go cold. You want to let it sit for one hour and then you're going to cut into it. Back in a minute. Okay, Richard, I know you've been watching. We're at the last step. Baked aubergine, melanzane, parmigiana. Right, I'm going to get the melanzane out of the oven. I've had it in about one hour at 170, 180. It really depends on what kind of oven you've got to, to the temperature. So you just want it to get a little bit golden on the top, not too dark, and you want the inside to start bubbling away. So I'm going to take it out of the oven now, and then I'm going to show you but then you need to let it sit for one hour, one hour till everything come back together again before you cut it. Because otherwise if you cut it now, you take a piece out, the, the rest of it will collapse. Just like when you put a cake in the oven and you open the oven door halfway. So I'm gonna take it out of the oven now. I'm just gonna have a quick look at it. And then we're gonna let it rest for about one hour and I'm gonna come back to you and we're gonna take a portion out. One second. Oh, wow. Will you look at that? Look at that. Baked aubergine. It might look dark to you, it's not. It's just the aubergine, a little bit crispy. It's nice and soft, nice and spongy. So that has got to sit for about an hour just to settle, to settle. It's gonna stay hot, don't worry. This is, will be even better tomorrow, actually. If you wanna make it the day before, trust me, this will be better tomorrow. So I'm gonna let it sit, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna cut a portion out. Back in a minute. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and Richard from Wales. This is the great unveiling. We've, we've done the melanzane parmigiana damari o kensita way. We fried the aubergines in egg and flour. We put them to dry. We've cooked the tomato sauce. We've got the mozzarella cheese. We've got the, the parmigiana reggiano. We've got the basil, touch of olive oil. We've left this out for, I put it in the oven, it was about 170, 180 for about an hour, and then we put it right down to about 120 for another half an hour just to cook through. And I've, this has been sitting here, this has been sitting for about an hour, and I can tell you with my rinky dinky thermometer, the core temperature is 73.4, which is still quite hot. The average, uh, the, the, best, the best temperature to, to get the most flavor out of everything is between 60 and 70. So you don't want it too hot, you don't want it too cold. Now it's 73.4, by the time you cut it and you put it on a plate, it's gonna be between 60 and 70, the perfect eating temperature. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a piece out and I'm gonna see if I can uh, try and get you the layers. Now I've got a nice, lovely, crispy top here. And no, it's not burnt, it's crispy, yes. So what have we got? We've got the lovely aubergine here. I'm gonna see if I can get a portion out. And then we'll do a close-up, we'll do a close-up and I will show you the recipe. Yes, that's what you're waiting for, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. You're waiting for the recipe, aren't you? So here we go. Make sure you cut it all the way through. You don't want it to get, get stuck and give you problems when you're trying to lift it out. And make sure you let it sit at least for one hour. Don't worry about getting cold, it will not get cold. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, we have liftoff. Look at, look how it's steaming. Look at that mozzarella, look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, look at that. Isn't that something? This is the eighth wonder of the world. Marco's baked aubergine. Here we go, look at that, look at those layers. Look at that. So I'm gonna, I, I, I don't, the smell is just orgasmic. The mozzarella just started to melt. All the flavors come together, not too wet, not too drying, just perfect. I'm gonna do a close up. I'm gonna give you the recipe. Oh, I'm out of breath. I'm gonna see you next time, next recipe. Take care, bye.